All right, time to go over the May 7th um, review skills. The first thing we are going to do is the dialogue. What do lawyers wear to court? inquired Abby. Lawsuits, laughed Mariah. So inquired Abby is our dialogue tag. We do not put that in parent or quotations. What is she asking? She's asking, what do lawyers wear to court? And since it is a question, I'm going to put a question mark inside the quotation marks. And at the end, I will put a period. Lawsuits is what Mariah says. Lawsuits, and she's laughing, so I'll give it an exclamation point and put that inside of the quotation marks. And then the dialogue tag is laughed Mariah, so I will put a period at the end. My dogs are trying to get in a fight. I gotta be careful. And commas. Okay. Fabio plays Fortnite, Minecraft, and Mario Kart. Well, I know that is a list of games, so I'm going to insert a comma in between Fortnite and Minecraft, and Minecraft and and. While at the park, I saw my neighbor. Okay, this, the introductory phrase, we need to have a comma. If it said, I saw my neighbor while at the park, you would not need the comma. But when you change the sentence around to have the, um, this phrase at the beginning, you have to put the comma in front. Type a compound imperative sentence. Okay, so imperative is a command, which just when you think of imperative, just think of your mom, or your dad, or your grandma, or even your teacher giving you directions. So I need it to be imperative, and I am going to have to have um, something compound. I'm going to choose to do a compound subject. This is something I say all the time. Madeline and Aubrey go to, actually I need a comma, go to bed. Now, even though I put a exclamation point on there, it is still an imperative sentence because it is a command. So just keep that in mind. Just because it has an exclamation mark does not mean it is exclamatory. I couldn't keep a straight face when I heard the bad joke. So if you think you're hearing a bad joke and you're, it's like those try not to laugh videos. So you are trying not to laugh. Okay, when you keep a straight face, that's what it is. Name the type of triangle. Well, all of the sides are different. So I'm going to call that a scalene. What is the perimeter? Perimeter, you just add up all the sides. So I have nine plus three, that is 12, with my CM as the label. And by looking at this, it says, what kind of angles? I see two angles. I see a right triangle here in this corner, and then I see a cute in the, these two corners. So I'm gonna write both of them there. So here we are, true or false? An isosceles triangle has all acute angles. This is false. It has two sides the same length. It has nothing to do with its angles. A rectangle is not a quadrilateral. Quadrilaterals have four sides. Rectangles have four sides, so this is again false. A five-sided shape is a hexagon. A five-sided shape is a pentagon, so this is false as well. Put the numbers in counting order, then highlight the number in the middle. All right, I'm just going to have to look here. There's 30 and 34. Looks like 58, 72, and 86. And then my middle value is the 58. We're almost done. Name the shape. The shape is a rhombus. Remember, a rhombus looks like a square that's been punched and it's kind of like leaning over to the side. How many sides does it have? Four. You can just count those. How many angles? Four. This was a pretty easy assignment, but if you do have any questions or come up with a different answer than I did, please send me a message.